Hello everyone and welcome to the Apollo 11 55th anniversary special. It is very early in the morning for me, uh, but we are here and there is Apollo11inrealtime.org down there and we are going to listen in. Unfortunately, Apollo11inrealtime.org does not have a volume control. It has a mute and unmute control. So I'm about to unmute it and it may be fairly loud. So that's how it is. I'm going to try and turn it down for you guys. Now I am going to try to play re-entry sort of in sync with it and we'll see how that goes. Unfortunately re-entry doesn't have an Apollo 11 mission. It just has sort of general launches and stuff like that. At least as far as I know it doesn't have a particular scenario it has these scenarios but it doesn't have one specifically for Apollo 11 and I had previously made a custom mission for Apollo 11 uh, but I, it apparently is old and no longer openable so I'm just going to go with this launch and so it might not be the right date in the corner there and it's been a while since I played re-entry so hopefully I can remember how it all works we are in real time here. Well, I'm a little bit ahead of them. So that was ingress and status checks, final verification. I don't think I ever did the ingress and status check pad before. Okay, center seat. Norm, FDAI, that's the nav ball. Oops. So, how are off for now? Okay, so we turn it off, and then we set reset that, and then we turn it on again. Okay. I feel like that's new too. And then we align the GDC. And then we set the nav ball to 1, and then the nav ball changes its orientation, you see. Okay, attitude set. Well, it says to verify that attitude. Is it really at that attitude? It doesn't seem like it. But, alright. I'll push it again. Okay, okay, it does change it like that. It doesn't seem like it changed the pitch or the yaw, though. I'm not too sure I verified that. But, okay. Is that really roll 162? Oh, they're doing it right now. See, see that verify roll 162? They're doing it too. BMAG mode, roll pitch and yaw to rate command. Semi rate one. Roger, BMAG mode to on rate one. Okay. FDAI scale to 5-5. FDA, FDAI scale to 5-5 is there. I'm, I'm not there. I'm not there yet. I'm saving some pyros. Well, we we are doing the power things. CMC mode free. CMC mode free. Trans controller power switch on up. That's up. Five forty six verifying. All right, Stony, put the astro launch on VHF. Okay, we've got the tank pressures. 
gimbal motors on. Trim pitch. Oh, that's oh the nu that number does not correspond to that number. Well, I didn't do this before. Huh. Okay. I th I think that's just a gimbal check thing. Yeah, that's just checking the gimbling. Well, uh, there's more to do than I expected. I need three people here. Also, it doesn't seem to read it when it hits auto there. When do I get 5-5? Five, five? Uh, they're already past that. This is having me do the same thing over and over again, I swear. Okay, finally something new. I don't know, it seems to require me to go back and forth on the switches. So we rearm the squibs. Okay, I'm just gonna verify and There's a service module RCS. Okay. That checklist is done. Launch preparations. Oh no! This is supposed to be at T minus 25. I was supposed to be just doing this. I wasn't even supposed to be doing the other ones. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Oh, back. Okay. And then we have to arm all these properly. No, that's... okay. This is just checking the batteries. Check that as 37 volts, yes. Plus A. Now we get to the FDAI scale thing that they did a while back. And these are the hand controllers that they talked about the setting that. Okay. This 
is more of what I remember. Ah, over there. Okay. All right, perform that. All right, so. Hey, they're doing a radio check, sort of. Can you hear me now, he said. Okay. Have to flick that EDS switch so often. A lot of it is just checking the RCS and the gimbals of the service module and then switching them on and off again. Okay. No, it is on program two. Okay, we're supposed to press that but not press enter. Very important. Do not press enter on that. Okay, we're recording. That's the tape. So we're turning off the pad comms here. How do I know when FDA I2 is equal to FDA1? Uh, looks like it. Okay, fine. That's just those two. Alright, fine. Okay. That's all launch preparations. So I'm gonna pause a little bit. Now we're approximately in time now. I'll hide the pad for now. Launch operations manager Paul Donner reports go for launch. Launch director Rocco Patron uh, now gives a go for five minutes, 20 seconds and counting. Coming up shortly, that swing arm up at the spacecraft level will come back to its fully retired I actually position. thought there was more stuff the in, the, in, the nine, in the checklist eight, that I was supposed to do. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And T minus five minutes. I rushed to. Yeah, well, I wasn't talking to uh, Mission Control, yeah. That is something you can do. There is a Mission Control function. That is a sort of multiplayer that they have. They don't have multiplayer in the cabin. Well, there's these guys, but... Um, they don't have multiplayer in the cabin, but they have multiplayer as a Mission Control multiplayer kind of thing. We're now passing the four minute thirty seconds. Mark in the countdown. Still go at this time. Four minutes, fifteen seconds. The test supervisor now is informed launch vehicle test yeah, conductor like and Carl from you are going to go launch. From this time down, uh, no, it can be another player, I think. At least that's what I gathered. I've never done it before, though. I don't know how that all works. Well, launch vehicle engine lights are on. I thought there were other things to be done, I swear. <laughs> I'm worried. Please let the switches all be in the right place, please. There's verb 75 and not entering. If the computer doesn't start appropriate stuff at the right time, verb 75 is a way to start it. Thank you very much. We know it will be a good Firing command coming in now. We are on the automatic sequence. 
We're approaching the three minute mark in the count. I don't think much three minutes in counting. But that would only be push like at launch. We're on an automatic sequence as the master computer supervises hundreds of events occurring over these last few minutes. T minus two minutes, 45 seconds in counting. The members of the launch team here in the control center monitoring a number of what we call red line values. You would push it if uh, it seemed like the clock did not start. Weirdly, our clock is ticking up right now. Two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. I hope it does reset. <laughs> it should reset. The vehicle starting to pressurize as far as the propellant tanks are concerned. And all is still go as we monitor our status. CDR panel 325, primary glycol to red valve, pull the bypass. Two minutes, it's 10 in seconds bypass. and counting. The target is Apollo 11 astronauts. The moon at liftoff will be at a distance of 218,096 miles away. We just passed the two minute mark in the countdown. T minus one minute, 54 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates that the so once it starts up, I should be in program 11. And if it isn't, I have to go program 11 and press enter. To prepare it for liftoff. T minus one minute, 35 seconds. There should be a liftoff light on. The flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications coming in to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. Eight second mark has now been passed. Internal power at the eight second mark in the countdown. The system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark. CDR and LMP panel six and nine. all the second stage tanks now pressurized 35 yes, seconds and counting we are still go with apollo 11 30 seconds, seconds and counting mc it feels good like astronauts report it feels good t minus 25 seconds 20 seconds and counting T minus 15, 15, 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 12 11, 11, 11, 10, 10, 10 9, 9. Ignition, ignition sequence start. Six, six, five, oh, five, they're going. Four, three, two, two, one, one, zero. Okay, we're at zero. Program 11. In fact, we are rolling. It's only a very slight roll. Plus 30 seconds. Roll complete and the pension program. Roger, roll, Roger. Standby for one Bravo. Mark, one Bravo. Okay. One Bravo for a board. All these keys change the abort mode and stuff. So, two engine out, launch vehicle raids, tower drifts and stuff. But separating from the different vehicles in case we have to abort as well. We are up. Verify cabin pressure decrease. Uh, that's the acceleration. Where the heck is my cabin pressure? It's probably somebody else's job. I've got to assume it's somebody else's job. Everything is go, Ralph. We're through the region of maximum dynamic pressure now. First to fly, are you? Where's the flight? Sergeant. Where's the flight? Oh, I guess they would have to abort if their cabin pressure didn't decrease. 
That'd be a weird thing to have happen. Okay. Mode 1 Charlie. And we have to do a few more things down here. Houston, you are go for staging. Is that supposed to be red? <laughs> no auto abort. I guess that's okay. Inboard cut off, you see the light. Okay, the light on lift off. This is this is the lift off light in its own. Yes. Downrange 35 miles, 30 miles high. Standing by for the outboard engine cut down now. We're going to fly. Okay, outboard off. Staging. Staging. So, S2 set there. At three minutes downrange, 70 miles, 43 miles high, velocity 9,300 feet per second. We got third step. Roger, we confirm. Well, they say tower just. Tower, tower is gone. Yes, it is. Neil Armstrong confirming both the check out the operation and the launch escape tower separation. Okay. Houston, be advised the visual is go today. Can I even get that switch? This is Houston. Roger out. I mean, I want to control these guys. Yeah, they finally gave me a window to look out. You won't. You can't hear you. Check that flight convert. I don't know if I can get that switch. <laughs> uh -oh. Whatever. It's probably not a critical area. <laughs> Maybe. I really should just use uh, track IR for that stuff. Okay. This controller settings. Just in case I have to report. Okay, go at six minutes. Okay, for the abort mode, we have to turn the service module gimbal motors on now. I don't know why that has to be toggled down and up. Starting that sequence. Booster flight, how are you? 
Uh, predicting that will be uncovered in 8 minutes 17 seconds. Outboarding and cut off 9 minutes 11 seconds on the second stage. 11 minutes 11 minutes. Well, it's the pitch. Basically, I mean, it's uh, like a 25 degrees. Downrange 530 miles, altitude 95 miles, velocity 17,358 feet per second. Other anniversaries? I would. Tr uh, well, for the Apollo audio, we only have real time for 11, 13, and 17 from Apollo in realtime.org. Um, I could probably come up with the other audios myself. I did for Apollo 12, and I think I've arranged Apollo 14, but, um... Yeah, I'll have to remember. It's easier to remember this one. Note that the stage does wiggle. I mean, contrary to uh, other people's opinions, it did go to zero and then pitch up again. The behavior of my KOS script is actually not that different from what it actually seems to do. Because it's doing the same thing, basically. It's going between two different limits. Apollo 11, go. Uh, pitching down here. I bet you that the uh, S4B pitches up again. Or maybe re-entry took my KOS script. I don't know. That's a pretty deep dip down though, to be honest. Mark, mark, mode 4 capability. Mode 4 and Apollo 11 could get into orbit using the service propulsion system now. But yeah, it definitely Alex does the pitching up and down thing. It doesn't fix to one pitch. We seem to be off time here. And we have a good third stage Downrange 1,000 miles, altitude 101 miles. Apollo 11, this is Houston. At 10 minutes, you are go. Hey, Roger, 11, go. Flight final, all sorts of Bruce work. Bruce McCandless giving the reports here from the control center. Flight 8, final land at 11, plus 4, 2. It's, a, it's going too long. Why is it still burning? Did it, did it stage and I didn't notice? Apollo 11, this is Houston. Predicted cutoff at 11, plus 4, 2, over. 11, 4, 2, Rich. Oh, it already staged. I was talking away. Oops. Downrange 1175 miles. Velocity 24,100. That was the softest staging ever. Feet per second. Altitude 102 nautical miles. Apollo 11 still go on all sources. Go at 11, Captain. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go at 11. We're predicting third stage shutdown at 11. Seconds. I don't fly to you. Looking good. Quite a little noise on raw. All sorts of agreed. We're go. Velocity 25,254 feet per second. Downrange 1,400 miles now. Altitude uh, 102.8 miles. Whoa, whoa, something, something. Okay, okay, just changed to uh, different uh, orientation. I did not like that change in orientation in that ball. 
Okay, key release. What the heck orientation does it have right now anyway? Whoops. So it is running. This is the idle program. Verified DAP load. Oh. Is that what I was supposed to get? <laughs> okay. 